This video will demonstrate how to filter a Dataverse lookup column in Power Apps. All right, now you can see here that I have opened two different Dataverse tables. Now on the left, I have my main table that is storing the records from my app. Now I'll go ahead and I will scroll over and you can see here that I have a lookup column on this table called lookup underscore invoice underscore vendor. And if I click on this, you can see here on the edit column page that this lookup column is pointing to the invoice underscore vendors table. Now that is the table that I have here on the right hand side of my screen. And you can see here that this table has two main columns, the vendors name and a status column. Now you can see here that I've switched to my Power App and this is the main form that will create records in the invoice register table. Now you can see here at the bottom of the form, I have the lookup field called vendor. And if I click into this list, it is going to display all of the vendors that are listed in my lookup table. Now what we are going to do is we are going to implement a filter that will only display in this lookup field those vendors who have a status of active. Now to do this, I am going to click on my lookup field here and specifically the data card and I will select the items property and you can see here the default text. And again, this formula will just display all of the vendors listed in my lookup table, irrespective of what the status is. Now I'm going to delete this and I'm going to implement my filter condition here. Now I've started this formula with the word filter followed by open bracket. And next I'm going to select my lookup table, which in this case is the invoice vendors table and then I will enter a comma. And next I'm going to select the column on which I would like to filter. And in this example, that is the invoice underscore vendor underscore status. Next, I am going to type an equal sign. And you can see here that I've brought up my lookup table and this is the column that we are going to filter on. Now, very quickly, I've scrolled to the bottom and this is a choice type field and we want to filter that form field to display only those vendors whose status is active. So what I'm going to do is I am going to copy this value here that corresponds to the label active and I am going to come back into our items property in our Power App and paste that in and then I am just going to type a closed bracket. Now you can see here that no errors were thrown Next, I'll go ahead and test this out. Now I'll click on the settings button to bring me to my vendor form. And you can see here that all of these different vendors have a status of active. Now I will go ahead and edit Microsoft and I'll set Microsoft to inactive and I'll click submit. Now I'll go back to my main form and I will click on the new button and I'll click into the vendor field and you can see here that Microsoft is no longer displayed in this field. Now I'll just quickly go back to my vendor table and I will set Microsoft back to active. I'll go back to my main form and if I click in the drop down field, you can see here that Microsoft is now available for selection. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like, please drop a comment below, and please share it with your friends and colleagues. I'm Louis Akbalas. I'll see you in the next video.